An urban explorer discovers a abandoned $12 million mansion filled with discarded designer shoes and cars worth $100,000 all still covered in dust. So an urban explorer was shocked when he entered a 12.988657 million or just say $12,988,657 abandoned mansion and found an unopened 12,370 designer shoe collection left behind plus luxury cars worth $98,926 left to rust. So the expansive 10 bedroom, 11 bathroom property was left unfinished and abandoned in 2016 after one of the owners died in a plane crash, leaving the remaining members of the family unable to afford the $61,828 a month mortgage. Which, I gotta say, I don't understand why people want to get into a situation where they have to have a massive mortgage when they're making the type of money that this family probably was making, right? Like, here's the thing. If I was making enough money to afford like a $13 million mansion, I would just save up and buy that mansion in cash. So the only expenses I have is property taxes, property insurance, and utilities. I do not want the extra hassle of a mortgage completely. Not interested in that. So Explorer Jeremy, a 34-year-old filmmaker and photographer from Nashville, Tennessee, captured photos of the mansion and showed that the unnamed owners left behind vintage cars including a Mercedes-Benz and a Volkswagen Bug. He even shared a haunting image of a collection of shoes from brands including Nike Air Max, Chanel, and Christian Louboutin, all still in their dust-covered boxes. Which, by the way, I'm not going to lie. If I won, I don't know, like a lottery of like $500 million or something like that, I would 100% buy a mansion like this. Cash. Just like, just buy it straight up. Because this looks like a cool place to own. Wow. These are some old cars. Let's see. Inside, probably like the living room, massive staircase. That's a pretty nice living room. The only thing, the only sad thing about like really big homes like this is like, if you don't have a lot of people in it or spending time in it, it's like pretty depressing. Let's see, hold on. Okay, music, nope. So the 27,000 square foot property was built by a local surgeon with multiple medical offices in the area. Interesting. The surgeon moved into the home with his family while it was under construction, but six months later, he and his 15-year-old son were killed in the plane crash, according to the Urban Explorer. He left behind a wife and three other children, but the surgeon had not been paying the premiums on his life insurance and thus all financial support was removed from her. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so bad. That probably means that like he didn't have like any money at all to give her when he died. And she probably was like a stay-at-home mom. So think about that. Think in her situation, being a stay-at-home mom, her husband, who is the breadwinner, just passed away. Her kid passed away. She has to deal with a sixty-one, sixty-two thousand dollar per month mortgage that she has no way of paying for because her husband didn't pay the life insurance payments, and they probably didn't have any money in like investments. That is so bad. 
This is why you got to have life insurance if there's people that rely on your income. If you have a stay-at-home wife, stay-at-home husband, whatever you got, you got to have life insurance. If you have kids and you're working to provide for them, you got to have life insurance. If you're a young adult but you are taking care of your older parents, you need to have life insurance so that if something happens to you, your life insurance can end up basically being used to hire like a nurse or whatever to take care of your parent. Like this is so sad because you have a situation where someone who basically had a really good, comfortable life goes to nothing, less than nothing. And she has the weight of having to take care of kids that she has basically probably no skills to actually take care of them, which is crazy. So Jeremy captured the mansion in Northeast America on his Sony A7, I think, ISV with a Sony G Master 1224 2.8 lens. He filmed in the freezing cold location for 11 hours. Wow. I hope he made a lot of money off of the video. So I found the location during a during a Google map search of rumored abandoned mansions in the area, Jeremy said. The man who built this mansion was very accomplished, graduating from one of the nation's finest medical schools. He became a surgeon, a father of four, and even a recreational pilot. Having built a thriving empire with nine medical offices in 2006, he decided it was time to build a dream mansion for his family. So I guess this is basically the premium close. Well, that's so crazy. There's literally tape on the outlet. This is like how like newly built the thing actually was. There's like painter's tape on the outlet. So a pair of Nike shoes and mini heels were also left behind in the property that was abandoned in 2016. The mammoth property was built by a local surgeon. Blah, 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 blah. He was by no means a flashy man, but no expense was spared in the elaborate design of this 27,000 square feet luxury villa. Jeremy says the white marble mansion is made up of three stories with a full basement as well. Along with the 11 bedrooms and 13 bathrooms, it boasts a visitor's quarter, an indoor pool, an outdoor sports complex, a four-car garage, a mahogany library, and an elevator, according to the photographer. After the tragic plane crash, the mansion remained unfinished, he said. But the mystery of this mansion lies in the huge amount of valuables left inside, including luxury cars, lavish furniture, expensive designer clothes, and so much more, Jeremy added. Now, what's also interesting, too, right, is, like, how much would it actually cost to buy a mansion of this caliber? Because it's been abandoned for so long, the bank or whatever probably still has the loan on it, or, like, having to deal with it, basically. So it's like, could someone just come here and maybe offer, like, a million for it and buy it? Like, that'd be kind of cool to see. I remember the house being so reverberant as the sound of my footsteps echoed throughout the halls like I was in a temple. The smell of each room was different. Some had a pungent scent of perfume and soap, while others were musty and even stunk of dead rodents. The light, the lighting inside the white marble home bounced off every surface evenly and gave it a satisfying glow throughout each room. When I arrived, I quickly discovered I wasn't alone in the mansion. I could hear a homeless man on the second floor moving about after I had apparently awakened him when I had closed the front door. I hid from a vantage point and waited for him to finally leave out the back window. I then began my exploration and filming my experience. Which, by the way, imagine being like a homeless person and you just stumble upon this like mega mansion. <laughs> like, talk about lucky. As continued with his exploration, Jeremy said his excitement shifted to a feeling of sadness and reverence for the family who had lived there and watched their dreams come crashing down along with the plane that killed their father and his son. It felt as though I was walking through a memorial of the life and the love that once dwelled there but was forced to leave under the most tragic of circumstances, he said. 
The strangest things I found inside weren't the luxury cars, the lush furniture, or even the flat screen TVs. What I found so strange to be inside were the small items like the designer clothes with the tag still on, or the Dior shoes in the closet, or perhaps the jewelry in the mounds of expensive makeup in the bathroom. It makes no sense to me why these things were left behind as they could have easily been packed up and transported out of the home whenever the family left. Jeremy said that he loved that he could document so much with a single image. Not only does it show how beautiful the world of decay and abandonment can be, but it also holds a mirror up to all of us and shows how truly wasteful we can be. He said, what I love most about exploring is that it's like walking throughout a museum of someone's life. Even if you don't know their story, you can piece together who they were, who they loved, what they valued, and where they came from. All from observing what they left behind, it's almost like archaeology, and I feel like I learned so much about myself and humanity by exploring where we came from, even if these places are now forgotten. Jeremy said he left feeling every emotion after this exploration. There's nothing in the world that brings me so much joy and yet sadness to step inside a place like that, he said. The the insurmountable waste that people produce and the amount of resources that are abandoned every day is mind-boggling. This house is an excellent example of this. People generally have the same reaction as I did when I first discovered this mega mansion. They respond in absolute amazement and, at the same time, sadness for the family in the home that has begun to be consumed by nature. It's beautiful to see people respond with such empathy for the family and shock at the amount of waste of such an amazing home with so much valuables left inside. I've also had a few people respond with disbelief, claiming these images are staged and the story is fabricated. Each location I publish, there's always a handful of people who can't wrap their mind around the sad reality that things are in fact bathed in at even the most astronomical scale, whether it be of historical, monetary, or sentimental value. Wow, that's pretty crazy. No comments on this? Really? Wow, that's pretty insane. If you stumble upon this, feel free to give your thoughts about this whole situation dealing with the mansion. Now, if you want to learn how to get out of debt and master your money, go down below or go to 40 Stay tuned for more financial commentary. But wow, spending basically $13 million on a mega mansion and then having to basically give it up because your partner who's making all the money didn't have life insurance. That is a super scary situation.